Call Me A Cab. Hi, I'm Joanne, and this is Call Me A Cab, a show about tasting wine without intimidation. Today is day 19 of the Wine Advent Calendar, where we try a different wine every day leading up to Christmas. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you've already subscribed, thanks and welcome back. Let's get started. Number 19. Sunshades Pinot Grigio, California. Cute bottle, fine. Although, sometimes that's not working out for us, but it is a cute bottle. Pinot Grigio. I generally like Pinot Grigios for my whites. Hopefully, I'm gonna like this. Let's give it a pour and see what we think. Well, the chilled wine chills the glass. Hard to really see the clarity of it though because it's in a foggy glass now. The other thing is we're shooting these episodes at night, so it's a lot harder to get a vibe on the color, but it's a very, very pale yellow with maybe like a little bit of kind of orangey gold in it, just a tad. All right, gonna smell it, see what we're smelling in this. Do you ever get like a cacophony of smells? Like one hit me, then another hit me, then another hit me. I think, I think instantly it was like grapefruit and then sand. And something funky, something like a, like a, like a sweat sock thing. It's weird, the longer I smell it, there's more like funky smells than fruity smells, but hold on, let me go in again. There's the grapefruit again. This is weird. Yeah, grapefruit and something like, oh man, there's some like yucky laundry smells to this, which I feel like white wines sometimes have that. I wonder what makes that happen, because that's definitely not the first time we've talked about either sweaty socks or musty laundry or something. Laundry and sand. That's what I'm going with on this one. Let's hope the taste is closest to grapefruit. Oh, it's very, very light, very easy, very, just a, just a hint of fruitiness. It doesn't have any of that astringency that white wines usually have. I'm actually really shocked by that. Yeah, you know what? Just just like a hint of grapefruit. Maybe if you did grapefruit and grapes, like as just like a little salad, which actually I kind of wish I had that as my like salad to go with this. You know what this would go perfectly with, babe? That champagne chicken salad that they have at Sweet Salt. Oh my God, it's so good, you guys. If you're ever in Toluca Lake. Will it go well with waffles? I think not, I think not. Yeah, it's got just a, just a hint of tart, like a grapefruit. Well, grapefruits have a lot of tart, so this is just like a little bit of grapefruit and some grapes, like if you mix grapefruit and grapes, that's what this tastes like. It tastes delicious and thankfully doesn't taste like laundry, clean or otherwise. I think I'm gonna go with the Havarti. It's a Dill Havarti's packs a little punch. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna create a little an hors d'oeuvre. I'm gonna take my little cracker, put a little Havarti on my cracker, put a little grape on my cracker. See if I can do this all at once. Kind of create my own creamy, grapey something, something. Here goes. Wish me luck. <laughs> well, that, that's awesome. Oh my God, that was delicious. There was a grape, there was some cheese, there was some savoriness, some bitterness, some butteriness. Okay, that was fantastic. So, fingers crossed. It's not bad, it's not bad, but didn't do anything amazing. Let me try just the cheese by itself. Yeah, it's that freaking grape, man. Oh my God, no, that was so good, so worth it. I don't care, I don't care if it ruined the wine, that was so good. Just the cheese. Mmm, that cheese is delicious. All savory, teensy weensy bit bitter, a little buttery. Yep, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. I mean, it's not a super strong, fruity flavored wine, but yeah, you know what I love about this one? No astringency, it doesn't have that acidic astringency that white wines can tend to have. It's just easy. Well, I wouldn't say pair it with a Havarti grape hors d'oeuvre, but I would definitely say try that in your life because that was amazing. But I think this with some more savory foods would probably be really good. And I think I'm gonna have to go get that champagne chicken salad and try it out with that because I think it's gonna be fantastic. All right, cheers guys, see you tomorrow. I can't wait to toast with you, so call me a cat.